Okay, so let's talk about the third of three activities uh, when initially setting up your placement management campaigns, and that is going putting your placements into placement reform school. So this is actually very similar to the procedure is very similar to placement graduation, but it's actually the opposite of graduation. In placement graduation, we are graduating keywords that have performed well for us with the intent of raising bids and getting more aggressive. With reform school, we're taking and keeping graduating placements that have converted for us, but not very well. They're rather expensive. We still want to uh, get traffic from those guys, but we want to lower bids in those cases. So we're still going to graduate them up, but we're going to keep a, a different perspective on those and lower our bids instead of raise our bids. So here's how we do that. Okay, so here we are in our old account, and we are set for filter of all time, and we're, we've already got automatic placements open. If, um, if it wasn't, it would say show details. When it's open, it says hide details. So uh, it's open and ready to go. We want to run a filter. So we're going to hit filter, create filter. And then in this case, we're going to say cost per conversion. And now we want to find all of our conversions that have converted but have converted more expensive than what we want to pay. So if we want to pay $25 max, then we want to find all of our conversions that have converted more expensively. Notice that this is greater than $25. And I'm going to hit apply. So I've got a bunch of placements that have been advertising for me, but they're a little more expensive than I want to spend. Now, Yours will probably not have all of this going on, but we have ongoing management going on. So you're seeing that things have been excluded or added or whatever. But in most cases, you're not going to see that. You're just going to um, have an empty slate here. And you're going to graduate these guys based on how expensive or cheap they are. Now remember, all of these guys are a little more expensive than what we want to spend. So we're going to graduate them with the intent of lowering their bids. So instead of sorting by conversion, we're going to sort by cost per conversion. Now all of these guys are really expensive. So I'm going to promote them. I'm going to move them up into my managed placements category. But instead, I'm going to do so with the intent of lowering their bids. Now I'm going to ignore these guys because I already have them excluded. But uh, all of these, $100, 195 etc., I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add these. I'm going to say add everything from 100 on down to say $50. And this one's a little trickier than just uh, regular graduation because I'm going to hit manage placement and bid and I'm going to remember that I'm willing to spend $25 per lead and I'm promoting or graduating uh, everything that I've spent between $100 and $50 which is two to four times as much as I'm willing to spend. I'm going to hit Manage Placement and Bid. And in these cases, I'm going to do a little bit of math. Um, this guy was bidding $3. I'm going to bid a dollar. This guy was bidding a dollar. I'm going to bid 50 cents, 0.5, etc. Um, and I'm, I have to manually look at all these, and I'm going to drop my bids by about 50%. So 75, I'm going to go with 40 cents. Dollar. 0.5. Unfortunately, there's there's no other way other than adding these manually one at a time and just selecting what bid is. I'm bidding a dollar, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, oops, and so on. Okay, so now I've gone through and I've manually entered my bids that are roughly half of what they were before, except for this one, which was I know was really expensive and uh, I, I went with a third of what that three dollar bid was but basically now I've moved these up to managed placements but since I know that they have been expensive on a per conversion basis I've lowered their bids and I'll be able to just manage those and continue to raise or lower those based on their performance but now I've moved them from automatic placement where I have no control over what I'm bidding on those individual uh, websites to manage placements where I can tell exactly what I want to spend 
for each and every one of these websites. So I have a lot more control now. And I hit save. And I'm almost done. Remember, I only went down to those where I'm spending $50. I also want to um, move the other guys where I'm spending between $25 and $50. And I want to graduate those on up to manage placements. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to just shift click between $50 and $25. That checks all of those. I'm going to then hit the Manage Placement and Bid. And I almost forgot, before I hit Manage Placement and Bid up here, I do have to go and, and physically uncheck any that are excluded. Because that's you've already told Google that you want them excluded. Um, so I don't want to go and bid on those um, and move those up to Manage Placements. They actually won't let you do that. So then I hit Manage Placement and Bid. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now remember, these guys, I'm willing to spend about $25. It has historically been costing me between $25 and $50. So I'm going to drop these bids. I'm not going to drop them by as much as 50%, but maybe like 25%. So I've got most of these guys are a dollar. So I'm actually going to do a quick trick. I'm just going to say 70 cents, copy. So now everything's 70 cents. And then I'm going to override any that are kind of outliers to that. So this was $2. I'm going to go ahead and bid a buck twenty-five. Uh, dollar, that's good. Twenty cents, I'm gonna go with fifteen. Dollar, 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 seventy-five, close enough. Uh, a penny, okay. If I was bidding a penny, it's probably for a reason, so I'm gonna just continue with that trend. Everything else is pretty close to a buck, so I'm gonna leave my default bid at seventy cents, and and again, the big thing here is don't get hung up in the exact details. This guy's a dollar forty. I could bid a dollar. I could bid seventy cents. Not a big deal. Um, you are going to adjust bids down the road with your bid management strategy. So it's not an exact science. We just want to come as close as we can without making it a big deal. So now that I've done that, I hit save, and I've now taken and promoted all of my converting keywords but poorly converting keywords and I've moved them up so from now on those keywords will not show up in automatic placements they'll show up in managed placements I've dropped the bids on what they were and I will continue to monitor those through a simple bid management process down the road and I'm going to have far better control over what I had before so that wraps up our three three series lesson on managing the display network through uh, placement, managed placement bids. And uh, I hope that was of help. If you have questions, feel free to comment on the, uh, in the comment section below this video at vitruvianway.com. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you later.